everyone, TB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install your Sprint Air Rave um, in your house. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it. Of course, you've got your modem along with your router here. Uh, the first step would actually obviously to be to have all your Air Rave stuff all ready. Um, you're going to need the AC adapter, your Ethernet port, your GPS cable, the, all the things that come in the box, of course. Um, and you're going to need to unplug your modem and your routers. You're going to need to unplug both of them. You're going to also need to unplug your router from your modem. So go ahead and unplug that. So make sure you unplug the router from the modem. Um, unplug your Ethernet cable, of course, out of the uh, cable modem. So, of course, you only got the cable along with your AC adapter plugged into your modem. But once done there, we're ready to go. All right, so of course we've got our modem unplugged, so that's the first two things we're going to start with is our air rave itself and the modem. So what we're going to need to do is on the air rave itself where you see the WAN slot, we're going to need to plug in one end of our ethernet cable, the yellow one, and then we're going to need to plug the other part back to the end of uh, the back of our modem. So go ahead and plug the other end to the back of our cable modem. Now once uh, we have that all hooked up um, together, we're going to need to plug in our modem again. So go ahead and plug back in your modem. Alright, so as you can see, I have plugged in my modem and it is turned on now. So what we're going to need to do after that, let our modem power up, give it a couple minutes. Um, we're going to need to plug in our AC adapter into our air rave itself. So go ahead and plug it on in. You will see lights turn on on the right side here to turn on. Um, of course, you're going to have to give it a little bit of time to set up. So once we um, have that all plugged in, we're actually almost uh, almost ready. We need to actually plug in our GPS, external GPS antenna. So let me go ahead and grab that and I will be back. All right, so I grabbed my external antenna. As you can see, you got two sides, one to plug into the air rave and the other one, this, this side is uh, supposed to go on a flat surface by a closed window. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop this, uh, put this over by my window. And the cable's really long, so you shouldn't have to worry about uh, length at all. So once done there, we can go ahead and plug in our the other end into the top where it says GPS. So go ahead and slide it in. It, um, it's actually kind of difficult to get in. You're gonna need to snap it in. You need to push it in and have it snap. It could take up to 30 minutes for the uh, GPS light to turn on. So this uh, third one down to turn green, it could take up to a half hour. So once done plugging in our GPS antenna, we are ready to hook up our router back to our, um, to our modem, or actually into our air rave now. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so you can go ahead and plug in your router now. So you'll see my router has got a yellow light, um, but what we're gonna need to do is take the ethernet cord that is connected to the back of my router, the gray ethernet cord, yours could be a different color, of course, and plug it into the back of your air rave where it says LAN. It could be one or two, it does not matter. Just plug it into your LAN local access network, plug it on in, and we should be good to go. You'll see an activity. You'll see a green light pop up on LAN2. You'll see my WAN lights flickering and my LAN is on as well. So you've got that activity going. You'll see, um, it looks like a lights, green light is lighting up on my router. So go ahead and let that load up. You should have internet connection out of your router. And then on your uh, air rave itself, you'll see these lights blinking. It could take up to two hours to reconfigure. So be patient with it, and once these lights are done blinking, I will uh, be back. All right, and once these three green lights are all steady and not blinking over here, you'll see that uh, none of them are blinking mobile GPS or broadband, none of them are blinking. Uh, we're ready to go. So we it actually should be in effect right away. What you can do to test it is go to your phone actually, and you'll see on my phone I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so of course you know that the router is working when connected through the air rave. So you'll see I have uh, full Wi-Fi bars, um, but to actually test and make sure it works, what you can do is call star 99 and make a call. Put it on speaker. I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna say. You are now within air rave coverage. Okay. You are now within air rave coverage. All right, so there you have it. Now within <laughs> Apparently they say it over and over. So I'm now within air rave coverage. There we have it. Looks like I have full bars at the moment. Awesome. So there you have it. I now have full bars and I would assume uh, 
it uh, is working great. So there we have it. The Airwave right, looks like it's doing its job. Of course, you got these three lights over here. Um, and that would be it. So that would be how to set up your air rave inside your house. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.